Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of What Do You Call It? What do you call it? Uh, What do you call it? The podcast where there is no topics. There's no real rhyme or reason why we're still doing it. There's a reason. What's the reason? Oh. It's not to hang out once a week? Well, yeah. Oh, I figured that was it. Oh, I I thought that... Like, we needed a bigger reason. Oh, no. Why oh. would we need a bigger reason? I don't know. I thought the ultimate goal was to get to episode 420 so you can make me smoke. That would be sick. Yeah, I thought that was the ultimate But goal. you realize that's in <laughs> that's why he's three saying. years. 190 what? We're at 192 or 94. We haven't even hit 200, so we're not even halfway. That's four more years. Yeah. We'd have to be doing this podcast for close to... It'd be th- I'd be 35 by the time you got years. to smoke. We yeah. are almost halfway. You're only fi- we're only 15 away from halfway. What are we doing for our 200 special? I have no idea. Uh-huh. Is that what we're going to figure out this episode? It's going to be around. It's gonna six be weeks middle from Thanksgiving, now. middle or middle Thanksgiving, middle of November. <laughs> are we doing our <laughs> Christmas break? Didn't we? We always do Christmas break. So really, it's not till like December what? 12th. Would be okay. We're doing our two weeks. Would be two hundred. <laughs> no, December twelfth is two hundred. Oh, oh, cool. So we can go out on two hundred and then take our break. Two hundred. Yeah, we, we could just finish two hundred and then come back on January. Hell yeah, I'm down. Okay, so what are we gonna do for the two hundredth episode? Oh. For one hundred, we went back and found a bunch of clips. Did we? From the I last one hundred episodes, what we did the party. No, that, that was one? 54. That was a year. Oh, that was just a 52. 52. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wow, really? Yeah, 52 was just a year. For oh. episode 100, we did throwback clips where we uh, both went and found some of our favorite bits we've done and just talked and, about them oh, okay. and played them. Maybe we can redo some of our favorite bits. No, we should do one of the bits we've talked about doing and haven't done yet. What? Like... I don't know what the doofen or doofenshmirtz. No, that's not what it was called. Yeah, I'm finding it. I know what you're talking about. He's talking about the animated ghost boy and his alien pet. That leaves a slime trail. Yeah. yeah. Golly, what, what is his name? Deuce and Deuce and yeah, something and Deuce. Florn. Florn, Florn and, and Deuce. Deuce. Florn yeah, and Deuce. Florn and Deuce. Florn and Deuce. <coughs> I guess I need to. Start um, drawing. Yeah, you've got six weeks to put together an hour long cartoon. Oh, hour long? <laughs> Isn't that the whole point? Is that we were going to do Florin and Deuce in the podcast? Yeah. I mean, you can just take a still picture and animate their mouths going for an hour long. Yeah, and then we just record an episode and Ethan uploads that video with our audio behind it. I mean, by then I'll have my new PC. I could probably get some animation software or something. Yeah, we could be Florida Deuce for episode 200. But that's like a Halloween oh, thing. So. Yeah. We should do that for Halloween this year. Oh, then Speaking I'm, of I'm Halloween, screwed then. it's October. It's that's why I said. All you have to do is draw Florida and Deuce and then animate an open circle and a closed circle. Over and over. Uh, you don't true. even have to line up the audio. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I have... Oh, well, no. I have the whole week of um, Halloween off. But that's... The... the uh, Monday is the 30th. So... Unless I threw it together on that day. Like so. I said, you could just get the drawings done. And yeah. then you could animate the scenes where... We're talking back and forth between the two characters. And Gosh. Bud. And Bud. Wait, what was Bud? He's the, it's the little slug pet that oh, Deuce yeah. follows around and eats his slime trail. Right. Or no, no, Bud follows Deuce around. Right, and eats his slime. And Bud doesn't like Deuce. He likes Florn. Right. But he only likes Deuce because he feeds him. Right. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. 
What style of cartoon would you like to see it in? Calvin and Harris. Wow, that was insanely specific and very quick responded. Okay. Is it Calvin and Harris? Is it Hobbs? Oh fuck. Uh, yeah, Calvin and Hobbs. That's what I imagined. Okay. Deuce kind of look well, That's like easy enough. A little Calvin. Is it Hobbs the dog? He's a tigger. He's, He's a, a what? A tiger, but he looks like Tigger. Oh, from Winnie the Pooh. That's what you imagine it looking like? Kind of. Like that art style. Oh, okay. 2D, flat. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. I'm not going 3D with that shit. No, I see it almost being more like a comic strip character than than I do okay. like a show character right. in a way. Right. I know we designed it as a show, but yeah. I honestly would see it as like a like a six panel comic series. Okay. But we had so much detail that it couldn't be a comic series. That's not true. It'd be a long. It'd be a comic book. Yeah. It wouldn't be a comic. Right. But all we did was say they'd go on adventures and shit. Well, yeah, but like all the details of like Bud eating Deuce's slime trails uh, and all yeah. that kind of shit. Like, yeah, that's a lot of information you're gonna have to figure out how to piece together. We're gonna have to like legit storyboard it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which would be fun, I'm sure. Maybe for episode two hundred, we should make merch. There we go. We should do the Florida design Deuce merch. Your, yeah, that because I'm already the, making the design. The crunchy and soft peanut butter merch. I'm crunchy and I'm smooth uh, or whatever. I forget that. I just re-listen to that. I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember the whole thing. I don't either. It was how we were gonna decide on which yeah, one was better. Whoever bought the most shirts. So. Yeah. If it was creamy or crunchy. What'd you do this week? Work? Yeah. Did you do anything after work? I took care of my new child. Trevor is now a father. You're now a father. Welcome and I, to the father world. I thank God for never blessing me with an actual human baby. Yeah. Because Jesus. Yeah. It'd be even worse. Oh, it'd be so much worse. <clears throat> yep. Tiffany found a cat. No. A kitten. Kitten. <laughs> a <Whatever>. newborn. <laughs> it's basically newborn. It is maybe a month old. Yeah. And her work. Well, a co or a shop brought it to her. Saying they were going to take it to the shelter. Tiff said, no, that's okay. She had to take it home. I asked Dad. I said, hey, Tiffany has a kitten. Can I have a cat? And he was he was doing, he was was busy doing something. I want to say he was on the phone. No, I was on the phone with her. And he was trying to leave. For He was trying to leave work? to go to, no, to uh, Jerry's to go watch the Cowboy game. Oh. No, this was Tuesday. And he was, he told Uncle Mark. That he was coming over for dinner and he forgot because I had made dinner. Dad had planned to stay here for dinner and then he forgot he had already promised Uncle Mark. And he was like, shit, I got to go. I was like, hey, uh, Tiffany's got a cat. She's bringing it over. He was like, what? I was like, can I have a cat? And he's like, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I got him on the off guard. Like, <laughs> Let's be nice. Uh, I remember well, calling- It was a kitten. I remember calling about Kevin and Dad, like, having a freaking fit about it. Yeah. Oh, Art, we already have Wednesday, and we don't need another one. But Wednesday was just getting introduced to the house, still. Yeah. Well, and I don't want to make it any worse on her. No, Dad's finding out real quick that Wednesday is just a grumpy little bitch. Yeah, she's just a grumpy cat that he's not going to be able to give love and affection to like he wants. Like he wants, yeah. And so now I, when you bring in a kitten into the solution, he's like, oh, my God, I can train this kitten to love me. Yeah. He, uh, I came home. It's when Thursday. <laughs> and he was laying in my bed with the kitten. I said, what the fuck? Your cat's a grumpy old bitch. So what, you come and try to steal mine? He goes, no, no. Just hanging out with her. 
It's a him. Now that we've confirmed, I'm they? pretty sure those are testes. Pretty sure those those, those definitely those look, look like little, little two little in. testes in yeah. the back. Mm-hmm. Like a little kitty testy. Yeah, I remember what Kevin's looked like. Yeah, and they younger. were full blown testes. Yeah. Like you could tell. I was like, God damn, you got a nutsack. <laughs> It was weird. Yeah. It was so weird. Yeah. Never seen a cat's f- hairy balls like that. Yeah, because we both got ours neutered pretty quickly. Very soon. Yeah. Or bought them neutered. Or bought them neutered, yeah. I'm pretty sure your Marlo... Yours. Marlo did not come <laughs> neutered. Oh, he didn't? Mm-mm. Oh. He was still pretty young, but he wasn't that young. Yeah. He, he was, was like, like four or five months old. He wasn't this old. big. He was like this big Yeah, already. he was like, like four or five. I think it was, was after he could have been away from mom. That should right. not be away from mom. No, that's why we still give yeah. it milk. Yeah. yeah. They say after a month you can start giving it cat food, but the way it still attacks the milk, like the way it... Oh, it's gonna stay attacking the milk. That's how it, Yeah. How cats are. It's like mm. Kevin attacks his food bowl now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's funny that Dad's like, yeah, I love coming over and hanging out with Kevin. He's so awesome. And I was like, yeah, isn't he? Isn't he's he? He's a cool cat, huh? Yeah. Mm. Little Kev. Yeah. He took a little cat nap with me today. He's so uh-huh. cute. Uh-huh. I was asleep on the couch on my side, and I woke up, and he was on my side. Nice. <laughs> I was like, hi, baby. Bruno's by my feet. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was nice. Past two nights, I've come home and just laid in bed with the kitten, just trying to chill. Yeah. I'll feed it as soon as I get home so it chills out a little bit. And both nights, it'll sit right here, like as I'm laying back on my pillows or whatever, it'll just chill right here, cuddled up in a little ball on my shoulder. They're the best. But then last night, um, it was in its fucking play mode again, and it started meowing like a lot, and it wasn't playing. I was like, okay, you're hungry. Fed it again, and I was laying in my bed like this after I fed it. And it just walked up and just shoved itself in the little cave of my hands and fell asleep right there. I was like, cool, now I can fall asleep. <laughs> this was like 8 o'clock. <laughs> Passed out. Yeah. Finally woke up about 8.30. It was still there in my hands. I said, all right, it's time to go to bed. Pick him up. Put him in the little box I got. It's not little. It's pretty big for that kitten. Oh, wasn't having it. Wasn't having it. I was like, no, it's bedtime. Sleep, sleep. Eventually, it quit meowing, and it likes to bury it. Like, it buried itself in my hands. It likes to bury itself under the blanket. It just likes, yeah, yeah. pushing into stuff, being yeah. warm. Mm-hmm. It eventually did that after about 15 minutes of crying. Yeah, woken up at 3 a.m., like the highest pitch ones like i'm starving come feed me it's like okay okay okay. fed it chilled with it for a little bit pissed on my bed i said okay i guess i'm getting a different blanket cool (laughs) about 45 minutes later i go to tuck it back in into its little box and i want to go back to sleep for another hour before i have to go for work and the same fucking high pitched squealing, but it doesn't stop. It goes on for 20 minutes. You know how, like, they say leave a baby when it's crying, like, let it get its shit out? That's what it did. No, it wouldn't have it. It fucking just fucking... So there's a little box inside the big box that it has to, like, cave inside or whatever. Jumped on that box and then just straight up jumped out the fucking big box and climbed us <laughs> my house. I said, fuck, okay. So I got up, put it on my bed resituated its whole box to where it's twice the height now still wasn't having it put it back in there wouldn't cry quit crying so i said you know what fine fuck it just come out here wouldn't lay with me <clears throat> it just wanted to play the whole time didn't want to go back to sleep rolls around to five o'clock when my alarm goes off and i'm like this in my bed and it's just attacking my hand i'm like okay well i guess i'm getting ready for work get ready for work put it in the box immediately falls asleep I said, you little piece of shit. <laughs> fuck you up when I get home. I fuck you up so bad when I get home. Uh, that's you awesome. want to play next time? Oh, we can play. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Thank God it's not a real human child. And eventually it'll just turn into a dope ass cat that can take care of itself. Yeah. Just got to put up with it for a few more months. Ugh. Oh, man. 
That's Kevin at about 9.30 every night. <laughs> Running around the house, oh going fucking psycho. Psycho. Kevin starts chasing, or Bruno starts chasing them. They're yeah. just sprinting around the house. Y'all are trying to get ready for bed. We're like getting ready bed. for bed, yeah. It's just like, okay, here we go. Mm. And then finally at like 10.30, Bruno's just laying in bed. And uh. every 10 minutes, Kevin tries walking into the, bro- into the room. And Bruno thinks they're still playing. So he jumps out of the bed, chases Kevin down the hall. Mosey's on back, lays down. Mm. Kevin's like, okay, I'm going to try again to go lay down with them. Mm. It's Two steps into the room, Bruno sees him, jumps up, chases him out of the room. It's like a, a reoccurring thing to like 11. Yeah. And then Bruno's finally just tired enough to not bother Kevin when he gets in the room. That's why I will not allow animals to sleep in my bed. You get your own bed. I bought you a bed. You can sleep in your own bed. I don't sleep in mine. But it's so nice when they cuddle. It's so cute. It's too hot. I'm already a hot sleeper. It's so I don't. Cute. It may be cute, but I'd rather sleep than watch something well, cute happen. We keep our room really cold, so yeah, yeah. So do I, but I like staying cold and not waking in, up from a sweat from a dog being up against my. I do be waking ass up crack. sweating. Yeah. yeah. And then I try to get unsweaty, so I uncover, and then I'm You're fucking cold. freezing because mm-hmm. I'm sweating and cold. cold yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. But I it's going to be nice in the winter when we're really cold and want to be warm while we're sleeping. Yeah. We're going to be fighting over who he's sleeping even with. You're going to turn that heater on, are you? Probably not. <laughs> I'm probably not going to turn it's the below heater freezing. on unless it's like 30. Yeah. yeah. If it's like 30 to 40, I'll maybe yeah. have it on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But other than that, that set for like fifty, the max. whole house is yeah. gonna be ice cold. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be on AC sixty degrees <laughs> when it's thirty degrees outside because oh I'm my God. not gonna have the heat. Just running. open the windows and save the electricity. No, that's what I'm saying. The AC won't turn on because. Oh, oh yeah. But I'm not gonna put it on heat sixty because then yeah. it'll only heat the house to sixty. Oh, wait, to I'm gonna leave it on ash, sixty yeah. on AC and just let it freeze. <laughs> But I, I do wait. have to have the heat on for pipes and stuff, so I'm sure yeah. it'll be like a 65 degree heat that will have it set on. Mm. So it's not gonna ever be on, really, right? Unless it is below freezing. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see. It was pretty chilly when we moved in in April. Like it yeah. wasn't cold. It wasn't below freezing. But it was enough but to not have the AC. Yeah, we didn't have the AC. Probably didn't run for the, like the first three days we lived in the house. Yeah. <laughs> This is just perfect weather. I'm ready. But next week, it's supposed to be below 80 someday. <sighs> Can't hurry up enough. Yeah, it's already October. On like Wednesday, a year ago, me and Andy were at Bahama Bucks, that one right there down the road. Sorry. We were at Bahama Bucks in jeans and long sleeves eating snow cones a year ago. And I was like, it's fucking 95 degrees outside. I cannot imagine having a hoodie and jeans on. No. Like, Mm -mm. it just means it was way colder this time last year already. Mm Mm-hmm. But it's October. It's Halloween. (laughs) We started decorating the house today. Nice. Got our... Inflatable ghost up out front. Inflatable ghost? It was five bucks a Dollar Tree, man. No. How big? Four foot tall. It's Florn. It's a little kid. It doesn't look like it, though. What is it? I mean, it's a ghost, but it doesn't look like it a doesn't sheet look like ghost. A, a sheet ghost. It's yeah, it's ghost. got like a long, it's got like the oogie boogie um, type head shape. It's got like a curve at the top. It's definitely not Like Florn. how you said oogie boogie and not KKK. Well, because KKK straight up, yeah. Boogie Boogies goes oh, to the side. I can't see fucking shit out of this thing. Yeah. You know what that's from? I don't know the movie, but I know You know it's from quote. a movie? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's good. You're yeah. getting there. Yeah, he's riding a horse. I can't fucking see shit <laughs> out of this thing. That's the point. No, it's not. It's the Django. Mm. Django! That's a movie you need to sit down and watch. That's so long. It is, and it's. You haven't seen Django. He hasn't seen Django. It feel, it's it so. It doesn't long. feel long at all. I feel like I tried starting it and I just didn't get into it's, it. It's so worth it. I reinstated my Paramount just to watch the Django because I want. I had a Django itch. Like I just had to watch it. 
I've seen it at least 15 times. It's with Leonardo DiCaprio, right? Yeah. Did he go unchained? There's a scene where Leonardo DiCaprio... Yeah. Where Leonardo breaks a glass. And he cuts his hand and he keeps acting through the scene. Yes. Yeah. Unintentionally. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. What's the, the German guy? Oh, Christoph Waltz. Yeah. He's amazing, too. A huge, great cast, yeah. Christoph Waltz is my favorite living actor. What's your favorite dead actor? Oh, R.I.P. Too, Too committed soon. to the bait. Too soon. <laughs> so they say. Never know because he can't answer. Bum, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm trying to think of what we did throughout the week. No. We didn't really do a whole lot throughout the week again. Oh, I got my... Uh, uh, grocery shopping. So, uh, did I tell you I checked into my 401k? Yeah. Oh, no, you didn't tell me you dipped into it. You said I checked you in to see if I could. About that f- what loan or whatever thing. Oh, I've got enough money for my PC right now. Nice. I'm just waiting for the sales. Waiting for Prime Day on the 10th. And I'm going to wait for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I took off Black Friday and Cyber Monday so I could go to Micro Center. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm I'm doing this. That's crazy. Yeah. Got almost two months until that, so it's going to be a while, but I've already committed. I bought the case, so I'm doing this thing. Very nice. Oh, so, yeah. You want to buy my old PC for Andy? No. Mm-hmm. I'm good. That's I'd maybe I take the 1080 Ti out of it, but... Aren't, don't you have a... A 1070 Ti? Oh, I thought you had a 20 series. No. Oh. But it's not. Gonna, I mean, it's really not going to boost my performance. You would that be surprised. Much. You should see the comparisons of 1080 Ti's versus 20s and 30s. But I don't have enough. The only thing you're missing CPU out is the ray tracing to bump up the performance wise. I like mean, I don't have enough to carry. Your the CPU is a newer CPU than mine. Yeah, but the, it still wasn't as highly rated as yours for what power you wise. Get? Mine's that. 2700 or 2600 and you had the Ryzen whatever like 1700 so yeah I had the one below you but the next Next generation Mm -hmm. you'd be surprised (laughs) I'm not that worried about it I was just about to say I have not been super keen on getting the computer recently right just doesn't It was fun while I was sim racing, and then we played Jackbox the other night with a bunch of people. Damn it. What night? Well, for you were there, right? Yeah, he hosted it. Duh. <laughs> he Duh. has all of them. What did I miss that? What was that, Thursday night or Wednesday night? Damn it. This fucking kitten. Thursday night? Yeah. Damn it. There was... It was me. It was Ethan. Me. Colin. Chase. James. Qua, and then James brought his friend Chris, and then some girl named Alyssa. Man, you're gonna let the boys know that aren't in there. I joined in. Makes me sad. Sorry. I don't ever get FOMO unless it's stuff like that. Those are the memories I want to get. On a, that's those are the memories I crave. Like I don't crave going to parties and having these fun, crazy times. I'm crave that. That first Quiplash game, I was on it. I was on fire. No. Me and Ethan both got the prompt, how do you know you're slowly becoming a squirrel or turning into a squirrel? Uh And Ethan said, you want nuts in your mouth. And I said, you crave nuts in your mouth. Uh. And James goes, yours is more homoerotic, so I gave it to you. (laughs) (laughs) So I felt bad because we both had the same answer, Uh. but still, we we were just on fire. (laughs) You're not wrong. (laughs) And then we played Fibbage. And then we played the internet game. Damn it. No, like three or four people didn't understand the internet game for the first round. And then the next one, they were like, that was a lot of fun. Let's do that again. Uh -uh. And then they did way better than I did. Oh. That first one, I was doing pretty good because I like understood the format. Yeah. Yeah, it was really funny. It said, uh, 
it was like, what is an absurd uh, headline for this comment? And it was James's friend Alyssa's comment, and it says, she has big titties. <laughs> and I made the headline, a 14-year-old girl got what reduced? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! And so I popped up, and they all went, "Oh my god!" Uh, <laughs> this is funny. Yeah, I couldn't sleep Wednesday. Or er, yeah, because we were hung out Monday. Did the podcast? Got your bed frame. So Tuesday I couldn't sleep. Wednesday we did Jackbox. Thursday, what did I do? I don't remember. I just couldn't sleep Tuesday into Wednesday, so I was up till like three in the morning. Damn. Went to work, and then oh, Thursday night I stayed at work. That's when you got the oh, kitten. Oh yeah. And you needed my help to watch it over the weekend. Well, no, I had gotten the kitten Tuesday. Or, yeah, Tuesday. Okay, yeah. But I was asking about you possibly helping this weekend. Yeah. On Thursday, and I was like, I can't. I'm late at work, or I can't talk right now. I'm late yeah. at work, but. Mm-hmm. I stayed till eight o'clock on Thursday night at work, Damn. and Friday, and overtime, son. my boss came out and he goes, "Hey, did you want to use a vacation day on Monday, or did you just want to have the day off? Because with if you just have the day off, you, you have seventy seven hours. Yeah. If you use vacation, you get eleven hours of overtime." And I was yeah. like, "Vacation, vacation, Duh. obviously." And I, I knew I had plenty of vacation accrued. That's why I wasn't too mad about Do what? use accrued accrued. <laughs> Accrued, yeah. Isn't that the word? What word are you trying to say? Like, Spell it. A C R U or yeah, A C C R U. Accured. Accrued. It's R-U-D. pronounced accrued. Because it's C R U. But it's acquire, so why wouldn't it be accured? There's no. Oh, two different words. Yeah. Accrued. Oh, wow. I always thought those were the two different versions of. No, it's A C C R U D E, accrued. I never even heard. Yeah. I have tons of vacation time because I haven't used any this year. Same. That's so, why I'm taking a week off in October slash November. Yeah. And so I was like, yeah, vacation. He's like, okay, that's 11 hours of overtime. I was like, fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's I'm getting. Fucking go. For two weeks of pay? Yeah. I'm getting paid 34 hours of overtime every <laughs> two weeks of pay. This chick. That's the most overtime I've ever had at this job. So. Damn. That's why I told you there's not a whole lot of opportunities to make it unless you right. come in at three in the morning. Yeah. But Which nobody's there anyway. Exactly. But I can still work at three in the morning. I don't How need anybody to get there. in. I, we have the... It's like a security logins. Oh. It like unlocks the alarm with a keypad at the front door. Oh. You don't need a key. You have to type in your code to get into the building. Oh. Fuck that. I'd be working five to five every day if they let you. I just don't want to go in at five in the fucking um, morning. I mean, if they're letting you get overtime, that's that's why I'm doing it now because I couldn't get overtime before like this. Matt told me, he goes, overtime is always welcome. If you want to show up stupid early and work, show up stupid early and work. I'm not going to tell you to stop. He goes, I know that's how we can make money. Oh, but yeah. they cut him off and put him on salary because he was making too much overtime. Uh, so I don't want to get to a point where they're like, yo, like we're paying you a lot, but like we need to switch you to salary. I'll be like, no. No. <laughs> if you switch me to salary, I'm there from eight to five. Yeah. I will hours. not give you 100%. anything more. 100%. That is 40 hours. But that's what you do now anyway. No, I show up at like 730. So I roughly get three to four hours overtime every week. Yeah, I I always show up around seven thirty, if not seven sometimes. So just do seven every morning. I try. I try to leave the house at six thirty, and seven that gets five me there and at you get seven. An hour extra each day. And if I skip lunch, if I work straight through That's lunch, they'll extra, pay me so, yeah, for yeah. that too. So, but yeah, I did like two or three do you no have to lunch clock days in and out for mm-hmm. lunch. Yeah, I did like two or three no lunch days last week and then showed up early all week and stayed late Thursday. There you go. So, like okay. I said, it's going to be one of my bigger checks, but. Yeah, so then Friday I came home and Andy was like, hey, I'm staying late at work. I need to get these fucking signs done or else I'm not going to have a good weekend because it's going to stress me out. 
And that one, me and you got the. Oh no, we got the best friend Monday. What am I talking about? Yeah. And I was like, oh okay, and I had been sober since Tuesday. I ran out of my devil's lettuce. Uh, if you're listening, anybody important, you didn't hear that. What are you talking about? And I was like, I after Thursday, I came home and had a Dos Equis because I was like, I'm fucking tired. Like, that work stressed me out. I'm going to have a beer. Mm-hmm. So then I came home Friday, and I was like, ooh, there's a little bit of vodka in the freezer. Oh. I'm going to have a few shots. And Andy was like, okay, have fun. I was like, cool. And so we had, like, four shots of pink no three shots of pink whitney left and i took those and sat down at the computer and talked to james and ethan and watched s fan who was watching some fights and i realized i got very drunk very fast <laughs> did you not eat dinner no well, there you go. i was polluted out of my mind well, there you go. and so i started drinking beers because i wanted to keep it up oh and so i had like four dos Equis and andy finally got home at like eight But she called me when she left, and I convinced her to pick up Taco Bell on the way home. Hell yeah. That was dope. And then I was very disgustingly full from beer and Taco Bell and felt like shit for the rest of the night. Yeah, that's how it works. You don't overeat when you've been drinking. You don't. You just don't. Yeah. Unless you're ready to pass out. Which I did. Oh, there you go. I conked out. Yeah. Andy's got a picture of me in my chair. It was cold in the room, so I was like, oh, I get to put my hoodie on. I put my hoodie on, I crossed my arms, and watched the fights, and my headphones ended up like this. <laughs> and I was just sleeping in a chair like that. <laughs> looking like that motherfucker from X-Men. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally. Cyclops looking at it. Look just like him. It was so funny. I'll see if anything can send the picture. Or uh, beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> beam me up, Scotty. That's funny. Yeah, so I passed out, and... She said Friday or Thursday, she was like, hey, I'm planning us a date. I'm taking you out Saturday. Hell I was yeah. like, fuck yeah. Uh, Sounds like a good time. Sounds like a good time. And she was like, I can't remember what I asked, but I was like, what what time are we needing to leave? And she goes, we're going to leave around 3 or 4. <laughs> like, okay, cool. So Saturday morning comes around. I woke up at 3 a.m. with the worst beer and Taco Bell shits I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Couldn't go back to sleep. So I stayed up until like seven or eight, oh, and then I crashed back out finally for an hour or two. And then Saturday morning, we both just kind of chilled on the computer. She played a lot of Sims, chilled a little bit, and then it was date day time. Hell yeah. She took me to Dallas, and we went to a Chinese restaurant called Some Dang Good Chinese. And they're known for their dumplings. <gasps> I tried soup dumplings. <gasps> you bitch. We're going. We're going, he I'm says. I'm taking you to some dang good Chinese Fuck yeah. in Dallas. Because that shit was fire. Oh, yeah. And it's right across the street from Free Play. Oh, so shit, we went, yeah. We went. They have like a little yard area that's got TVs and little stands of beers and mixed drinks. So we went and uh, chilled the there. Chinese place? It's not... It's like a bunch of restaurants. It's like a, uh, I can't remember, Riverside or something like that. It's like a collection of restaurants and mm. bars and all that kind of stuff. So you can go hang out and cool. it's just like a general outdoorsy kind of area. Hell yeah. But we went, they have big Jenga. So we played a few games of that, had some drinks, went and got our food. We got pork soup dumplings. That's the only ones they have, but uh, they were fucking fire. Yeah. And then... I got the dumpling assortment. It came uh, with chicken, pork, shrimp, oh, and veggie dumplings. Just the shrimp. That's fine. You can have the shrimp. It was, yeah. I'm the shrimp was good. Shrimp. Yeah. I did not like the veggie because it's a lot of mushrooms. Oh, fuck yes. You can have all the shrimp ones you want. I'll take them veggie ones. It's two of each. So you get eight dumplings oh, per order. Oh, swag. So we would definitely both need to order our own sets of dumplings. Okay. I'll just trade your yeah. veggies for your for, my yeah, shrimps. Yeah. That's a bet. And so, after probably like chilling for an hour, we finally got to the, we walked over to the restaurant, got a table, sat down. We got General South chicken, mm. the dumpling assortment, and the soup dumplings. And oh, we yeah. just shared all of it. It nice. was really fucking good. Mm-hmm. And then we walked over across the street, went to free play, 
Dallas Free Play's got some banging arcade machines yeah. for free. I was shocked. They had like some really nice. They had a Guitar Hero machine. Oh fuck yeah! They had like eight racing machines. Damn. And the pinball wasn't as good of a selection as right. Arlington's, but it was still plenty of pinball machines. There's a really fun Ninja Turtle ones that I played a lot. Oh yeah. And then. The bubble guts set in from drinking. Oh no! And the Chinese and the food. Chinese food. So I go Thank into God, the free round play free play bathroom. I almost said round one. Oh, I went into the free play bathroom, and bus stalls are full. Oh, and I was no. just standing there and standing there, and one guy goes, mm. "I was like, like oh, no. I'm not going in that toilet." So I walk out. I remember across the street next to the Chinese restaurant, there's some toilets. For like public access in the little Uh, chill area. I was like, I called Andy. I was like, Andy, I got to go across the street to get back to those fucking toilets on the other side. She's like, okay. So I walk in there. There's one stall. Oh, no. The dude is walking out of it. And I was like, perfect timing. I've got a fucking shit. (laughs) I have no choice but to poop right after him. Yeah. I sit down. Somebody walks in and goes, I've got a shit so bad. That's the first thing they said when they walked in. And I said, (laughs) (laughs) Me too, man. (laughs) I didn't say me too, but he knew I did because of the sound in me. Yeah. So I finally get all cleared out. I finally feel better. There is sweat running off my forehead. Oh, yeah. When you have to hold the shit, you sweat. And so I'm like, I'm a little uncomfortable just because, like, I didn't finish. I just kind of. Got in what I needed to get out to uh, be like good, yeah. but I still wanted to poop more, but I didn't want to hold it from the guy that had to shit. I mean, I was trying to be respectful. I guess, yeah, but that's your stall in that yeah, moment. Yeah, I mean, I'm owning. Oh, my I stall made it my stall. Moment. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah. I wish I had a bidet. Duh. But, well, yeah, yeah. So Andy had a plan that we were at. After we did all that, it should have been dark enough to where we can go and walk over to that really cool bridge in Dallas, the big oh, yeah. white one that you can walk across. Mm. We were going to go walk across that, look at the... Um, Scenery. Yeah, the they call it the like city. the skyline, yeah. the city skyline. We were going to go and look at all that, and I was just a little too uncomfortable for that. She wasn't feeling amazing either, so it was kind of like, okay, we're going to come back. We'll do that another time. Yeah. But... It was a lot of fucking fun, and that oh, yeah. some dang good Chinese was some dang good Chinese. I'm down. I'm ready. We don't have, like, we have good Chinese. We don't have dang good Chinese. It here. was pretty fucking good. Yeah, I want some dang Like, good I Chinese definitely want to go back and get more dumplings. Hell like, it yeah. was good enough. Do they have the option of fried and steamed? No, it's, it's only steamed. steamed. Fuck yes. That's how you do it. Yeah. I told Andy, like, I've seen what looks like better dumplings. But I can't say I've had Tasted better dumplings or, yeah. because I don't know what, like, extremely really good. good soup dump. Like, there was maybe, like, f- some of the soup dumplings I've seen of people, like, they, ooze. like, bite the top off and soup is literally to the top. And the- this was maybe not even halfway in there. Uh, so it's like, I'm sure it's not as amazing as it can be. But right. for your first time. Yeah, for my first time, it was still really good. <laughs> what I saw you look at my hair. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I saw you look up at it. It looked a little goofy. It was yeah, poking it was out in front of the headset. Out. But yeah, so we definitely got to take our friends there because that was a good good time. What? Oh. Yeah, it was a damn good time. It was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then today we were going to wake up and do like house decorations and build... Uh, we bought enough stuff to build like a Halloween wreath. Oh, cool! We were gonna make one. Realized we don't have a hot glue gun, <laughs> oh. so we can't make it yet. So just it, borrow the one from the house. Yeah, we bought one on Amazon. Oh, okay. But um, yeah, we were chilling most of the morning. I watched YouTube on the couch. Took a cat nap. Or I woke up around eight mind you i didn't go to bed till like three because we got home around nine thirty, maybe 10 laid in bed on our phones for like three hours just talking and having fun so it was like 11 30 midnight oh no and he goes i kind of want to go play sims i was like okay then go play sims i'm kind of tired so i'm gonna go to bed yeah she goes okay yeah. goes and plays sims i was like fuck i got poop 
<laughs> I went to the bathroom, and I guess sitting there for that long made my body not be tired anymore. Uh, so when I got out of the bathroom, I was going to go chill in the game room with Andy. I got out of the bathroom, and she's laying down in bed again. Oh. And she goes, yeah, I got sleepy staring at the screen. I was like, I, I get that. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I guess we're just going to lay in bed. I was wide the fuck awake. Damn. I just missed my sleepy window and Damn. was wide awake to like 3 a.m. again. Damn. And then I woke up at 8 this morning, Oof. just wide awake, uh, wasn't tired. Like, I slept amazing all night. So I was like, okay, fuck it. I'm up. Fuck it. Went and laid on the couch, watched YouTube, and I saw a TikTok about uh, hard-boiling eggs in the air fryer. Yeah, I've done it. I wanted to try it, and I go Let's and look in our air fryer and realized I never cleaned it after we made chicken wings the other night. Oh, damn. So it was chicken full grease. of raw chicken. Not raw, it's cooked. No, we buy raw chicken. We buy the frozen know, Walmart. but you cook it. Oh, yeah. And it becomes cooked. Yeah, it's all the render down fat and sauce yeah. stuff. Yeah. But, dude, we buy a bag of great value. It's four pounds of great value yes, chicken I know. wings. Yes, Those are the ones Dad buys. Oh, okay, They're yeah. They're fucking amazing. Fucking air fry them. Yes. Oh, I thought you guys grilled them. We've air fried them and grilled them. They're great They're either They're amazing in the air fryer. We do- we douse way. them in the sauce and then put them back in the air fryer. Mm, and air- it gets all the sauce really sticky mm. and gooey and like brings out a bunch of the flavor. So fucking good. Hell yeah. But yeah, so I was like, fuck. Well, Andy mentioned wanting eggs. Yet- oh, I totally forgot. During Saturday, we took Kevin out on a car ride. Oh, yeah. We got Kevin out of the house. We went and got coffee and breakfast and let Kevin see the outside world the for world. a little bit. He was not having it. He liked the car ride part. He did not like seeing people and hearing the noises. World. But That's a house cat. Yeah. And then, what was I talking about Sunday? No. You were going to make her eggs. Oh, yeah. I She wanted eggs Saturday morning, but we ended up going out. And so I was like, I'm going to make her breakfast in bed today. I'm going to be a sweet boyfriend. And I saw an avocado in the fridge. I was like, I'm going to go avocado toast and Hell some yeah. eggs. And I go in there to make sure, because she had been asleep at 8, and I asked her if she wanted to stay asleep. And she mm-hmm. goes, yeah, I'm going to keep sleeping. I was like, okay. So at 9 is when I thought about making her breakfast. I like, walked in there, and she's on her phone. Oh, nice. I was like, oh, do you want breakfast in bed? Uh-huh. And she was like, oh, yes. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm going to make you avocado toast and eggs. She goes, Okay, hell yeah. <laughs> and so I go in there, I grab the avocado, and it feels hollow. Oh. I was like, oh, no. I go, Andy, is this good? And she feels it and goes, I mean, you can cut it and see. It is fucking gray on the inside. Oh, it's just beyond nasty. ripe. Nasty. It's rotten. <laughs> Gross. But it didn't leak out at all because it was still in its little shell. Yeah, but. but- no. So I threw that out and I was like, okay, avocado toast is out of the question. What kind of toast do you want? <laughs> she goes, I'll do cinnamon sugar. I was like, okay, cool. There you go. Fried, oh, man, I missed fried up cinnamon some eggs. sugar on a toast on a Saturday morning. Fried up some eggs, brought her some cinnamon sugar, toast in bed. And she goes, why are you doing this? And I was like, I don't know. I just wanted to cook breakfast. Yeah. And I wanted hard boiled eggs and realized I couldn't. So I already had the eggs out and I was like, oh, fuck it. Just make, breakfast. make something for it. She goes, did you make yourself some? And I was like, no, I don't really want fried eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so I ate my leftover Taco Bell <laughs> when oh I was God. drunk. <laughs> 10 o'clock this morning. There you go. Had half Saving of some a money right there. cheesy gordita crunch yeah. and a beefy milk burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried the rolled chicken tacos? Andy said they're whack. She they're said amazing. They're super dusty. She said it the literally ones I felt were like great. dusty. The ones I had were great. I didn't feel it. I didn't get dust. They were like taquitos. They were like taquitos. She said good. it was like the she must have got a bad batch crumbs or, or whatever like stuck to it. So when she ate it, it felt like it was like sandy in her mouth. Mm-mm. So it was gross. So. No, they're great. She said it wasn't that good. She must have got a bad batch because I, I, I've eaten them three times now. They're amazing. Yeah. So and then <clears throat> after <clears throat> breakfast, we both sat on the couch and she goes, okay, I'm going to go play Sims for an hour. And then I'm going to come back out and we can start decorating. I was like, okay, cool. I don't remember laying down falling asleep. Mm. I was laying down in a sleep and woke up at 2 o'clock and was like, oh, shit. <sighs> Trevor's texting me about the podcast. This is today. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what the fuck happened? Uh, uh, uh. And woke up. That's when Kevin was on my side and everything. 
And I go in there and Andy goes, yeah, I've been playing a little longer than I thought. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's fine. it's okay. <laughs> and so I go back out there and lay down again and realize it's almost like 2.30 and she's still on there. And I was like, are we decorating? Uh, <laughs> she goes, yeah, give me a second. <laughs> so she finally finished up. Oh, my God. And we started pulling everything out to make the wreath. And she goes, we don't have the hot glue gun. I was uh, like, Fuck. So then we inflated our little four foot inflatable ghost and hung up one little streamer with little thumbtacks. Or whatever. Yeah, it's got like uh, candy corn and little like foam balls that are black and white polka dots. It's just like uh, super basic uh, decoration. And if then, she likes Sims that much, maybe you should get her on uh, Planet Zoo. It's a really good game. A really good game. <laughs> If she likes that style of, you know, I mean, she Sim. loves Sims, yeah. but I, I think she loves zoo. Sims because she's built like an entire empire. Literally, <laughs> she's got a website that tracks her family trees. Oh wow! Sims. Holy shit! She's got like eight generations of Sims. Oh damn! And she knows all who spawned from who and how and why they're the way they are and wow, yeah. She said she's never played Sims legit in the sense that she's playing right now because she used to always make all of her characters rich and the best at everything. Oh, and yeah. then she would make crazy storylines of like this husband cheated on this wife oh. and the kid got taken away. Like she loved making like drama, drama for herself. Yeah. But now she's like playing it and like building every single character from, from the ground up, yeah. like the sending them through college and all that kind of shit. Hmm. So I, didn't know I think that's where her, that her new obsession is coming from is that she's like physically doing everything yeah. now, but digitally. Yeah. And so she came out and or digitally doing <laughs> everything now. And <laughs> huh? Oh, go ahead. Cause I'm moving on. Oh, um, I always get to the point where my Sims starts to get old and then I have this small existential crisis that I'm also getting old and I'm going to die too one day and then I quit playing Sims. Yeah. yeah. I had that existential crisis today when I realized I'm 14 years away from being 40. Oh, yeah. And that's m less than half of my life. Yeah. Or a year more than half of my life. No. I'm 26. Plus 14 is 40. That's what I'm saying. If you... 13 half oh, of my life it's i'm almost a third of your life i'm almost yeah like it's You're two ridiculous. thirds of the way to 40 yeah i'm not happy about that <laughs> that felt horrible today hey man i'm 31 you chill out that felt horrible yeah. you're gonna be your 55 balls. fuck you when i'm 40 <laughs> that's no. bad math that's i'll be 45 yes you would be 45 in 14 years yes yeah. At least I won't be 55. That's a great, yeah, that's a great outlook. Yeah. But yeah, like it just clicked in my head today that I was like, God damn it. Mm -hmm. I'm closer to 40 than I am like 13. 12. Yeah. Like I'm the same distance from being 12 that I was at yeah. 40. That's crazy. And when I was 12, I was like, oh my God, I can't imagine being 20 years old. Yeah. Which are your 30, man? Dude, mortality hit today. Uh, retality? Mortality. Oh, mortality. And then we were trying to find out something to do for like the last two hours since we couldn't decorate anymore. <laughs> couldn't make the wreath before I came here. And Andy said during like October and November, she wants me to start the Harry Potters because the whole Fuck deal is. Yeah, like, we're boy. Watch, we're going to watch every Harry Potter. I'm guessing Potter. you saw, Ethan, that. The Dumbledore actor passed away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that. The other one. The other, yeah, the second Dumbledore. Yeah, I saw that. Um. Yeah, so I was like, okay, we can start this, and I was like, wait, aren't these like nighttime movies though? Like you're supposed I'd to be cozy at night. And he goes, if anything, we can watch the first one during the day, but all the others have to be at night. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. And then I was like, well, wait. So we're going to fucking run them in one day? No, no. Oh, we're oh. just going to spread them out throughout October. Oh, I'm gonna okay. I, but I am going to watch all one of them. One every few days. Maybe, yeah. yeah. And Hell so yeah. 
we were going to start it, decided against it. We're probably going to do it tonight after, or probably not tonight since we're doing Grand Turismo tonight oh yeah but we'll probably do it tomorrow night oh yeah and uh the whole deal with the harry potter huh oh Oh. the whole harry potter deal was if i watched every harry potter she has to sit down and watch all of avatar the last airbender with oh fuck yeah that's a win-win that's what i said for you i was like that's a win-win everybody's told me i'm gonna like harry potter I know she's not going to be super into Avatar, so yeah. she's going to be the one that's going to have to sit there and watch. Mm-hmm. I'm going to just sit there and watch. Yeah. <laughs> but I it. think she's going to get into Avatar and be like, oh, fuck, that is a good show. Uh, I think she will enjoy it. Uh, when she realizes there's a lot of soft spots to that show, it's uh, not just all action and crazy fighting. Right. And just a there is a good storyline. It's not yeah. a crazy kid cartoon. There's yeah. a really good story behind that whole thing. So. Uh. Which I thank Ethan for forcing, not forcing me, telling me to watch it. Yeah. I still need to. Oh, my God. I just haven't dedicated my time to it. It's so worth it. Yeah. You can watch three episodes a day in 45 minutes. Yeah. Or no, hour and a half because of 30-minute episodes. Yeah. Right? They're down to, like, well, without commercials. It's 22. 22-ish minutes, yeah. Yeah. You can usually watch three episodes in an hour. Yeah. I can get it done. It's only three seasons of, like, 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. But it's so good. It feels longer. It does feel very long. Mm. Especially the season finales because they're like hour and a half long episodes. Uh, They're like, yeah, they're four that Netflix combines all in one. Yeah. And it's... That is like watching a movie. You get very emotional through those. (laughs) Let me know when Andy starts it and I'll start it. Huh? I said Uncle Iroh. Uncle Iroh? Saint. How do you spell that? Iro? I couldn't do it. Oh, here's that picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's even better than I thought it'd be. I was conked out. Fuck yeah, you were. I'm curious if Iro's going to be your favorite character or if Toph will be. Uh-huh. Trevor's definitely going to be Toph. Think of a Toph. That or, um, fuck, what's his name? Yeah. No, no, no. The brother. Oh, Sokka? Sokka. I think, I think he'll appreciate Sokka, but I don't think Sokka will be his favorite. Really? I could see it being his favorite for some reason. All if right. anything, maybe it's because I see myself in Sokka a little bit. All right. Let's, have you ever watched Guren Lagan? Mm-hmm. I'm going to watch Avatar, and when I finish watching Avatar, you need to watch Guren Lagan. That is my favorite anime of all time. They had a Guren Lagann fighting game, I'm pretty sure, at that free play. Or maybe oh, no, it there's, was a... There's a dance game, or there's like a rhythm game that has Guren Lagann in the background. That's where I found out about it. I asked Qual, I was like, what is that anime in the background? It looks sick. And this was like when we were with at round one with Autumn and Victoria and shit. He's like, that's Guren Lagann. You've never seen it? I was like, No. Maybe it's changed a, my life. It looked like uh, that Gundams. It kind of looked like Gundams. Could have been Gundams. fighting game. Yeah. This dude was playing two kids on the other side and on both, both machines by himself, beating them both. Damn. Moving both sticks, fighting at the same time. Me and Andy are playing Street Fighter Two. Watching this go. Down. Watching him next to me beat their fucking beat their ass. ass. <laughs> I, he goes, I can't believe I'm doing this. That's what he kept saying. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh I got up to go talk to Andy about... She beat me four fucking times in Street Fighter yesterday. Damn, I beat her ass. once, finally. Uh-huh. I was like, okay, that's enough. Uh, I got my one. I stood up and walked over there, and she goes, was that you I was fighting? I was like, yeah. Uh-huh. She goes, I kind of thought once you changed to the girl, I was like, wait, is that Joseph fighting on the other uh, side? What the fuck? I was like, yes. Beat my ass. And I go over and it's two kids playing that fucking game. Two separate kids playing on that machine. No one guy's just whooping their ass. That's hilarious. Yeah, man. (sighs) Time for cookies. Cookies. You gonna bring Michael in here to show him off? Michael. I can, yeah. Oh wow, we the made it the whole episode, notification and then off. fucking Peacock <laughs> is the one that gives me a fucking. 
Absolutely ridiculous. Who are you calling? Tiffany. What? Just go get it. Well, I didn't want to have to make Ethan move. So I figured she could just hand him to Ethan and... Where the hell is she? Just get the cookies. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. Not 100% on that name. Was it sleeping? No, it was on Tiffany's back. Oh. She's sitting in the living room watching the football game. Oh. Everybody? This is the kitty. No, it's not focused for that. It's oh, for the... you gonna bring her back. Yeah, bring him back. Out. Was it not recording? <gasps> oh, no! Well... <laughs> Well, it is now. It is now. <laughs> Here's Michael. <laughs> Not 100% on that name. What, little guy? It's okay. You got blue eyes. Mm-hmm. We'll usually grow out of it, but hopefully he does it. Say hi. <laughs> we just discovered Ethan was not recording Oof. the whole time. It's okay. It's all good. Things happen. <laughs> he says, "Fuck this shit, I'm out." <laughs> you should put him in. You should wear your hoodie backwards and put it in your hood. I've done it. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, Ethan just came here to hang out. <laughs> what a good friend. What a good friend. Yeah, because that's honestly Wait, why. They I not go. Post- oh, it's only six twenty. They haven't posted them yet. Oh no, we normally do this at seven. Yeah, so it's We're about eight o'clock eight. when we guess the cookies. Yeah, they haven't posted the new ones. That's last week. So. Well, yep, they're no a mystery cookie now. guessing. Uh, my guesses are. I mean, you think some kind of spooky, of, yeah. some kind of spooky cookie. So like a the monster cookie. It's gonna be Oreos and yeah. Chips Ahoy, or it's gonna be Oreo and chocolate chip. And then they're going to do the Reese's and peanut butter and M&M's. Imagine if they did a Count Chocula cookie. Ooh, now that we're talking. That would be cool. Or a Booberry. Or, yeah, Booberry cookie. So small. So little. Such a sweet little baby. Yeah. He's a little shit. That's how I felt about Marlo. I still love Marlo, but he's a little shit sometimes. Yeah. Marlo would be sour for no reason sometimes. Yeah. He's so cute. Dang, the one time I'm not asking you if you're filming, too. Yeah. You usually do ask. I do normally ask, are we rolling? Turn your whisker. Dried up milk. This cat is no more than a month old. Like, yeah, it is so teeny tiny. I, like, I guess its eyes probably just opened when they, they got open it. open about two weeks. When <clears throat> y'all just got it, my guess would have been like they were just opening because his eyes were crusty as hell. Definitely possible. Now they look way more open too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be sick wobbly. seeing it grow up. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm really it. sad that I'm we missed about Kevin and Bruno. Is yeah. We didn't get to see their puppy stages. Like we have no idea what Bruno looked like as a puppy. Mm-hmm. He could have looked like Scooby Doo or something, like mm-hmm. or Scrappy. Who knows? Yeah. But oh, well. well, thank you everybody so much for tuning into this week's episode. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. <laughs> if you, you listen, listen to the episode, episode on YouTube, there will be about a five-second shot of the said cat at the end. 
There's no point. <laughs> <laughs> there's no point in following the audio until we say yeah, something about the cat. <laughs> there's no Just put it in before the video starts. <laughs> Just show the little clip of the cat. Now, if you made it this far into the episode, you, that was the cat you saw in the beginning. Kitty. <laughs> so... Hopefully, him and little Kevy can be friends. Yeah. You need to get a harness for it now. Mm-hmm. So you can start harness training. Hey. All right, goodbye, everybody. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.